Welcome to episode 6. I'm actually surprised you made it this far. Usually when I do a big project, I just kind of leave it sitting around. So, we're on episode 6. This should be fun. Let me start my timer here. I want to make sure that these are staying at the same time frame. And indeed, I did shave. Thanks, chat. Alright, let's get up. What are we doing here? It's been a little while since I played, to be honest. Talk to this guy. The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. You know what? I really, 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 really like this game. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Didn't I do that last time? Did it not keep Kid it? Kid says hello, but Zolf's oh, lost Oh, don't thought. tell me you have to start that all over again. I could have sworn we did that. I still think the sound's a little off still. I feel like I'm too quiet. You should let me know. Anyway. Let's try this again here. Now, I could have sworn we did this. That's kind of shitty, but we'll give it another go. Kid takes another drag. Goes out like a light. Oh, maybe there's another part to it. <laughs> there's Either something way. you should know about the kid. But let me take it from the top. I might be a little rusty here, so cut me some slack. Okay, we got the bow and the gun. I think I got the hang of this again. The past catches up with the kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. It's still very annoying that I have to do this all over again. But well, that's okay. We'll get this figured out. Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. That's really the interesting part about this, is that I don't have any reference point to what this kid actually is or does. Like, he has this really sweet full metal vibe to him. And I'd love to see that branched out more. You know, the metal arm and shit. He never knew his old man. But he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. And I love the fact that this is giving us some input onto what he was like. We gotta work on this bow though, don't we? What's with the kill? Oh, duh. Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. Yeah, because this is when they tell us about him going to the thing, the wall, I think he called it. So we finally get some input on where this kid's from and what he's been doing, and why he's a badass. I just wish we would have done this. I don't know why he didn't say. That's really School annoying. ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some I do money. like the haunted popcorn makers. I think that's probably the best part. I mean, all of the character designs so far have been really good. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. 
the elements, the aura, you name it. Screw you, Slammers! I also like that it's these kind of missions that make me a lot more comfortable. Whoa! A lot more comfortable with the game. Because they force you to be creative. You're given this really tiny space, lots of really big bad guys. And then you're just like, oh yeah, go kill everything. Did we get him? Sweet. Once a kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. Well, that's sad. These really big guys are super cool. I hate that they break the floor. At least I think they break the floor. Oh, this isn't good. I think this might be grenade time. Seriously though, I think the limited supplies is what really makes this for me. Because otherwise it would just be like, oh, I have unlimited everything. Let's just fucking shoot them up. Fuck that guy, you're stuck on your little island there, you loser. The city had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found either. Alright. Oh, shit. Fuck. Not what I wanted. Damn. So what the kid no! do? Why oh, would oh that is cheap. Walls for another five years. Yeah, only eleven levels left. Not a big deal. History of Ceylandia. Nobody has ever volunteered for How's a second shift on the walls. Still good. Fuck this guy in particular. Oh yeah, forgot about these. How do I? Oh, tits. A really shitty spot for a turret. How there, kid, learn to fend for himself, learn to build. That's a really bad spot for a break. hole, too. What she said. Don't tell me otherwise. I know. I know that's what they said. These boxes are annoying as hell. What did I do? In time, the kid earned good standing with the marshals. Really they trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. Hell yeah, they would. Because I'm a BAMP. I'd trust me to do anything. Long range for life. See, this is what I like about the bows. I can just target that shit from fucking three miles away. Nobody knows. They ain't shooting stuff at me. Easy peasy. See? One night, on one of his expeditions, the ground beneath him shuddered, cracked, and split apart. Screw you, ghost boy. You know, it's never good when the music changes. That's usually a bad sign. 
He saw nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened just like that. Now what is the calamity? Why haven't we been explained what the calamity is? I feel like that's vital information here. Where's the other one? There he is. I bet you there's one like there-ish. There. Ooh. There-ish. Yeah. Called it. All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. And I feel bad because I haven't even used the hammer recently. But if they're like, it was pivotal to his survival that you used the hammer. Oh, shit. Ah. That is annoying. Can you imagine being like 15 or whatever and going up against these fuckers with a hammer? That takes balls. Through twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. I want more of the stranger's background. With him being as important as he is. Yeah, I remember this part. This was tough as shit. Fuck the ghost boy. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Well, he finally arrived at Ceylandia's vaunted safe haven. Nailed it! He and no one else. Oh, I'm sorry, my nose itches. Oh, can't drink. Okay. Oh, come on. We should really get that upgrade that lets you uh, pull back faster. Because our pullout game isn't too strong right now. Yeah, I made that joke on purpose. Gotta pull. Also, I don't think we're getting enough crits. Do you? As I said. All he got was more thankless work from a man who ain't even asked his name. I hate these ones that follow you. You suck! Oh yeah, just keep destroying the land. I don't need that. You're not big. It's not important. Sure, I may be the one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made them real. Not me. Oh yeah, and the horse. Got it. Move, 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 move. Oh, yeah, you weren't expecting this technique, were you? Boom. I'd like to say I'll never forget him or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely Give would. Give me that shit. <sighs> All right, so. That only took up the entire episode. Okay. So I apologize for repeating the same one. I don't know why it didn't save. That's really quite annoying. Did we get new stuff at least? Looks like it. The marshals nice. kept the city's peace. They can rest easy now. 
defeat three foes with a single wall. I did that. Give me it. The breakers. Yeah. Ain't no one could outrun them. Or their arrows. I've asked a lot of the kid, but this is something he's done on his own. Uh, did I level up? Does anybody know? Let's check. Oh, I did. Yeah, okay. I like the health. Carry on defeated, surrounding. Mm. So we have the crit hit chance when full. We are taking a lot of damage, though. I think this would be a good one to grab. Where whiskey has no scent, but tastes like a peppered boot heel. It's not for everyone. All right, let's check our items here. You know what? This combination's really working for a us. A bow ain't much good in the crowd, but a musket sure is. And we can't do any upgrades either. All right, talking to the stranger then. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. Why? That's it? We ain't much for pleasantries. <sighs> Alright. Well, I don't think there's enough time for me to do a, another whole episode, so we're going to cut this one short. Again, sorry for all of the uh, nonsense there of repeating the same episodes. But, next one, brand new shit. We'll see you then. Bye. -bye.